this is when it really gets good. Um, I, I, as we were going through the agenda, I thought, you know, you guys need to hear from one of our students. So I asked one of our students, um, and that's Levante Johnson. Uh, Levante can make his way up here. I asked him, uh, would you just give a, a brief talk about what does um, academies mean to him? Now, Levante's a, a student at George Jenkins High School, and he is in the academy, uh, the Geico Academy of Advanced Business Management. Levante. Thank you, Mr. Smalls, for that introduction. Really appreciate it. How is everyone doing today or this evening? Good, I have a good active crowd. I like that, I like that. Well, my name is Levante Johnson. I'm a student at George Higgins High School in Lakeland, Florida. And because of Polk Academies, I can now say that I am the student ambassador for the Geico Academy of Advanced Business Management. And let me tell you, in one of my academy classes, we were talking about the six steps that an entrepreneur takes, that an, I'm sorry, that an entrepreneur lives by. And these six steps are one, seize the opportunity, two, Organize a plan. Three, assumes the risk. Four, run, start the business. And five, <laughs> runs the business. And finally six, intends to make a profit. And this is when the lights in my head start to flicker and I made a connection. These are the same six steps that anyone takes in life to achieve and accomplish anything. Those six steps. And that day when I choose to I joined my academy, it's the day I really found that I had a purpose in life. The start of my high school career, I was in a new place, a new city, a new school, and I was the new guy. The good part about being a new guy was because of my people skills and my personality, I kind of fit in really well. <laughs> I was enrolled into regular classes and it was too easy for me and the students that was, that was in those classes didn't have that motivation that I wanted to be surrounded with. I wanted to be I attended the school at Ricketts High School in Tallahassee, Florida. I don't know if you've ever heard of that one. And they offered the IB program there. I chose to be a part of that because I knew that is where I would love to be. It was a challenge. It would push me a little harder. And I struggled badly, but could not drop those classes because I had made some close friends and I felt like I would be a failure if I didn't complete the program. Well, with problems at home and struggling in school, I was an emotional wreck. Inside, holding it all together with a smile on my face so no one can see. One day, that, that smile broke. My heartache and pain was out on display. The next day, I was in Lakeland, starting back from day one, a new school, similar classes, and not performing to the best of my ability. I didn't want to be in that place called George Jenkins. I pouted for a very long time. I used to sit on the staircase on the other side of our freshman academy building where no one would hang out, no one would socialize, because I couldn't socialize with anyone. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't even find a job. I started to become very lazy and very unambitious. And I was on the verge of giving up on myself and my education until a friend of my math class said, hey, you heard of that Geico Academy they're having next year? And I was like, no, what is that? He said, it's a business academy that they're starting. I'm going to room 4226 to go talk to the directors about joining next year. I was like, well, yeah, I'll, I'll go with you, man. So I went with him, and that was the day, that's when I started to live again. I, was home, I went home that day, and I was so excited about joining the academy. I went to sleep, and I started dreaming. I started visualizing about all these different things and how the academy could be. And I was so excited, so I woke up the next morning. I wrote everything down that I dreamed about, and that, that same morning, I rushed to my teachers, the academy teachers, and I took it to them, and I started reading everything off on the list, and they were just like, whoa, you're so excited. You, you just have a lot of enthusiasm. They opened up their arms and said, hey, I want you to come with me, and we want to sit down with you so you, you can help us build and finish constructing this academy, academy from a student's perspective. I had the opportunity to develop my own vision, the monthly meetings and the uniform attire and our academy goodie bags that each student receives every year were, the, were my ideas, and I had the chance to develop and become successful. Because of my academy teachers, Mrs. Rollins and Mrs. Canning, I have a solid foundation and support for my every move to tell me when I'm off track and what I need to improve on. They are there to mentor me and to parent me to be the best I can be. I can stand and say I was on the verge of being a high school dropout, being pressured from self-esteem issues, depression, and frustration. But because there was something I can be a part of and grow and develop on my future, I am not that depressed and non-focused individual dropping out of high school. The academy saved me and they revived me. They gave me hope. They gave me an opportunity. 
Where would I be or who knows what I would have done without my academy? Polk Academies bring as much as the real world into the classrooms as possible. It exposes us to many, so many different avenues. I have the opportunity to be certified in any field I choose. Hey, look at me now. I'm a certified Surf Safe Food Protection Manager that I received through the Culinary Arts Academy at George Jenkins. And now I'm working on my CIW certification with my Business Academy. I've told you my story, and it's just one story. But there are so many more that are similar to it. Our Polk Academy's programs is an opportunity to give each story a positive ending. As it offers hands-on experiences in our diverse areas of interest and abilities, it offers a chance to grow in a stimulating yet protective environment. Whether a student wants to be a doctor, lawyer, or even a teacher, the chance to explore, grow, and become the best that you can be is available through our Polk Academies. I challenge each and every one of you in this room to take the time out and to visit every booth out there and hear their stories. Thank you. Oh, I hate having to come up here after something like that. <laughs> how do you follow that up? Um, and, and how many of you would like to hire Levante? Huh? Well, you know what? We have 96,000 potential Levantes out there. And, and it's our duty to try to make that happen for every one of them.